I'm the Libre Cassano rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover a few shading techniques for creating this spinning globe effect where the transition happens between day and night time. So the text is going to be using from this website here. You've got the daylight and the nighttime maps. I'll put links in the description. Okay, so we've got this rotating sphere. That's going to be our globe. I'll just start by creating an on uh, team shader and we'll start using a, a mix shader for the two maps so mix shader and then going to drag the maps downloaded onto on shader network so we can put the day map into the shader one and the nighttime map into shader two start an onward IPR Make sure I want to assign the shader to the sphere. So by default we get this. So if I was to change the mix weight, we could get one or the other. What we could do is connect to ramp RGB to the mix weight, the mix shader. Then we want to make sure the interpolation of the ramp is set to something like uh, blend. So we get a nice sharp uh, fall off. The black and white together. So we get something like that. Another method would be to use the distance shader. Again, use the uh, the two maps, one for the near color, so the day map for the near color, and the night time for the far color. And then we'd have to create an object for the distance shader, so I'm going to create a polygon plane. And just move that to the side, just maybe rotate it, like so. So that would give us something like this, so depending how close the plane would be to the and then just add a Cinema 4D Arnold parameters tag that tell primary visibility for the camera and shadowy casting. So we get something like this. Also, just the distance shader. So Value. Okay, so that's, there are a couple of ways to do it. Um, the only issue is they might not give you as much control. So um, let's try another method using the tune shader this time. The distance shader and create a tune shader. I'm going to connect the Daylight texture to the base color, and we'll need to create an Arnold light for this to work. So, Arnold light, just create a distant light, rotate it, increase the exposure, something like this. So if we were to plug the emission into the emission color, increase the emission weight. Affect the entire sphere at the moment because it's uh, emitting from across the whole shader. Don't want we don't we just want it in the dark areas. So what we could do is add a ramp to the emission weight. And just change the interpolation like we did before. I have to use a camera projection so that when the globe rotates, it um, the effect still works. So put the ramp RGB into the projection color and just drag the 
camera onto the camera for the camera projection. Okay, so now that we've projected the ramp, the uh, effect seems to be working better. Okay, so just to recap, we've got the Toon shader with the day map going to the base color and the night time going into the emission color. And we've got a ramp connected to the camera projection, which is affecting the emission weight. Could use a standard surface shader instead of a tune shader, but I, I chose a tune shader because uh, we've got the base tone map as well. So if we wanted to connect the ramp there to, to help tweak the effect, it could do so as well. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.